So now you might want to make a quiz whereby you give the user an option. Um, they could have A, B, C, D, one, two, three, four. They could have two options, true or false, or as many as you want. Basically, you give them a list of strict answers that they can choose from, and they have to type in the correct one. Again, it still has the same setup whereby we ask the question, we get the user's input, and then we check using the condition to see if they are correct or incorrect. Um, it just takes a little bit more setting up when you provide multiple answers, but it's essentially the same way we did with the maths quiz. So the question I'm going to pose to the user uh, is, which is the largest country? Okay, simple enough. Then we're going to print again. Now this, this time you've got to print out your answer. So A, we're going to say China. Another print line, B, uh, Canada. Another print line based on how many answers you want to give them. Uh, C, Russia, or D, America. America. Okay, actually let's just say United States. So, They've got four answers there. Let's just see if this works because all it does at the moment is just print out uh, six lines. So I'm going to save it, call this quiz three. Uh, I'll save it to the desktop. And dead simple. Welcome to the quiz. Question one, which is the largest country? China, Canada, Russia, or the United States? So next, you are going to wait for the user to enter that answer. They're going to enter either A, B, C, or D. So you're going to say answer... So we're setting up a variable called answer to story 10 and that is equal to input. So we've got the question, we've got the user typing in their answer and then thirdly we need to find out if what they've put in is correct and whether it matches you know, the correct answer that we decide. Okay so next we need to do the if statement. So we're going to set up a condition to see if the user's uh, and the answer is correct. So if answer is equal to, and obviously the answer is C, so I'm going to type C, then we're going to print correct, and then we're going to add one to the score, so score equals itself plus one. Else, if they're not correct, then, well, obviously you print incorrect. Just like that. And then, because I'm confident this is going to work at the moment, I'm just going to add score, uh, print score, sorry, not add it. Give that a run, save it. So, uh, welcome to the quiz. Which is the largest country? Uh, well, let's go with C. Correct. Let's give this a run again and see if we get it wrong. So, let's say we put in D. We get it incorrect. Fantastic. Um, one issue at the moment that you might have, and I don't know if you've noticed it, but I just want to address it anyway. In Python and most other programming languages, letters uh, are case sensitive. So if answer is equal to C, then it's correct. So if I give this a run, and you can see here we've got capital letters. Let's say the user's got caps lock on, or they just press uh, shift for the uppercase and they type C. It's going to say that they are incorrect, which obviously we know isn't incorrect, and the user knows it isn't incorrect. However, because a computer sees a C, uppercase C and a lowercase C as two different characters, um, it's going to come up as incorrect under our condition here. So a way to get around this is we simply say or answer equal to and then capital C. So you just repeat this condition and you put an or between. So there's two options the computer can have here. It can be either equal to this one or it can be equal to this one. So let's give this a try now. So uh, let's go with lowercase c just to make sure it works. Lowercase it does, F5 again. Let's do uppercase c, it does. Now let's just check that it does work if we type in another letter. Incorrect, fantastic. Let's just try one more time with an uppercase letter. Incorrect, brilliant. So that's how you would ask a question whereby you give multiple answers. Again, we could substitute uh, these four lines for one by simply doing uh, backslash n and then putting in b canada okay backslash n again for c 
Russia backslash N again, D uh, United States. Now, obviously, it does get a little bit confusing and hard to understand when you do it this way. However, it's good practice. Again, I could make this even uh, smaller, uh, sorry, onto one line. Let's put this in, in with the question. So again, backslash N because we want it on a new line and we can get rid of this line. And if you remember before, we could even take all of this, cut it and put it in the prompt for the input statement uh, function, sorry. So the answer equals input and then it prints out the question. Let's just see if this turns out okay. Give it a save. Okay, you can see there, question one, which is the largest country? A, China, B, Canada, C, Russia, or D, United States. So I've just missed a space there for formatting. And it's pretty much back to how it was before, exactly the same. However, we've now got one line rather than those extra ones we didn't need down there.